Hello and welcome to my video on Big Data. So in this video we will learn about the concepts of Big Data and its challenges. Hadoop and how it addresses Big Data challenges. Hadoop ecosystem. So suppose there are two devices, a phone and a laptop. Phone can be any Nokia phone or any older version of a phone. And the laptop has 32 GB RAM and it has great processing capacity. So here the problem statement to process 1 GB of data. So the same 1 GB of data would be considered big data for the phone because of, it, of its lesser processing capacity. And the same 1 GB of data would not be considered as big data for the laptop because of its higher processing capacity. So big data is not a technology, it's a problem statement. So if something is beyond the processing capacity of the system, it is called big data for that particular system. So storage and processing are two of the major big data challenges. To overcome these challenges, we have implemented a system called Hadoop. So let us learn about the traditional system first. So there are three data sources, DS1, DS2, DS3. Data is getting captured, then it is stored, then it is processed, and then it is visualized. So storage is done by uh, multiple computers using distributed file systems, and processing is done by any programming language. So in case of Hadoop, we will introduce a new programming language called MapReduce, and a new distributed file system called Hadoop Distributed File System. So we will learn about this uh, file system and programming language later. But for now, if we get huge amounts of data, as we have discussed earlier, the storage and processing layer will get impacted. So for that, we have implemented these two, uh, these two uh, technologies for uh, storage and processing. So in this case, we have introduced MapReduce programming language jobs to be run over Hadoop distributed file systems. So MapReduce can also integrate with visualization tools like Tableau, Cognos for better visualization. MapReduce is written in Java. And if someone doesn't want to work in Java, they can use a technology called Hive, which was developed by Facebook. It's a SQL-like language, but in this, an interpreter is used to convert it into MapReduce internally. There's another technology called PIC. It is an English-like language, which is also converted to MapReduce jobs internally. Impala is another technology, but it can process data directly on top of HDFS without the need of an interpreter. So in this case, we have seen that Hadoop is an input-output based processing technology. So if you want to use in-memory cluster computing, another technology called Spark is used. Spark is written in Scala and Python. So Scoop, as you can see over here, Scoop is a technology used to import data from RDBMS to Hadoop and also to export data from our Hadoop to RDBMS. So Flume is a technology which is used to import live data to Hadoop, but in this case export is not possible. So it can be used to import any live streaming data. So as we can see a.txt we have imported from any of these data source. So by default it is read sequentially. If you want to achieve random access facility on top of this big data to read this, this text file sequentially in any manner, we have to introduce NoSQL database such as HBase or MongoDB, etc. Uzi is a technology used to schedule the Hadoop job. Zookeeper is a coordinator system. Yarn is a Hadoop version after Hadoop 1x, so any version above Hadoop 1x is considered YARN. It's a version name. So here we can see the full picture of the Hadoop ecosystem. There is Hadoop Core, there is Data Processing Stage, Data Analysis Stage, Data Ingestion Stage, 
data exploration stage, workflow system, NoSQL base. So in this case, Hadoop core, we have seen there is HDFS and YARN. For data processing, we have Hadoop map produce and Spark. For, for data analysis, we have uh, Impala, Hive and Pig. For data ingestion, we have Scoop and Flume. For data exploration, we have Cloud Data and Hue. For workflow systems, we have Uzi. For NoSQL database, we have Apache Edgebase. So this covers the whole ecosystem of Hadoop. I hope you like this video. I'll be back with my next video shortly. So till then, bye bye.